race on Long Island will determine the balance of power in the New York State Senate. The winner of the seat vacated by the disgraced Dean Skelos will give his party the majority, now evenly split at 31 seats each. CBS 2's Magdalena Doris reports there is no clear winner the day after the vote. After casting their special election ballots on Tuesday, both Republican Chris McGrath and Democrat Todd Kaminsky are waiting for the votes to be tallied. It came down to the wire. We're going we're gonna to pull this out. Both men were vying for the District 9 state Senate seat, left open by Majority Leader Dean Skelos, who was convicted of extortion, bribery, and conspiracy. Skelos was charged after using his power to get his son paid thousands for no show consulting jobs. Nassau County residents say no matter who comes out victorious, they'd like to see a change in character in the Senate. I just want somebody who's going to get the job done um, and is going to be there for the county. I'd like some honesty in politics, and we'll see how that pans out. Today, the unofficial numbers are in. According to the Nassau County Board of Elections, Kaminsky won the 9th District Senate seat, beating his Republican opponent by 780 votes. Last night, he gave a victory speech. I can't wait to go up there, work as hard as I can on your behalf. But Republican candidate Chris McGrath says the race isn't over until the last ballot is tallied. With over 2,700 absentee ballots still unchecked, roughly 1,300 Democrat, 1,100 Republican, and 200 Independent, McGrath doesn't want to be counted out until they're all counted up. Hopefully when everything is counted, we're going to prevail. Because this is a special election, whoever comes out victorious in the end will have to win another vote come November if they would like to secure a two-year term in the Senate. In Rockville Center, Long Island, Magdalena Doris, CBS 2 News. The Democratic Commissioner of the Nassau County Board of Elections is headed to court today to start the process of certifying the election results. He says he wants to avoid a fight over the final count, which could be a waste of taxpayer money and time.